One of the things I really love in Articulate Storyline is that you can turn really any slide at all into a drag and drop question like I've done here. And when you do that, if you also include a review quiz button on your result slide like this one, if the learner clicks on that to go back through to review their quiz, Storyline's always going to show these draggable answers in the places that the learner put them. And then down here at the bottom, it'll show whether they got the question right or wrong. But let's say that during that review, I would rather show the learner these draggable items in the correct spots rather than where the learner put them. I'd like to show you how you can do that. I'm going to close the preview here. And here's my question. I'm going to come up here to the upper right and click Edit, Drag, and Drop. That's going to open up the form view of our question editor. And down here at the bottom, you'll see this field called Post Quiz Review. And if you enter some text there, or even if you just enter a blank space, Storyline's going to create a review layer on your slide. And that layer is going to get displayed to the learner during the quiz review, along with that you know, green or red banner that says correct or incorrect. And what's cool is you can customize that layer to look however you want. So what we're going to do is change it to show the drag and drop items in their correct places. So let's go ahead and enter a little bit of text here. I'm going to say here are the correct answers. And when we hit save and close, down here in the lower right, we'll see that Storyline created that review layer for us. And you can make this look however you want. The visual design of it is going to be controlled by a feedback master, which you can adjust. Or you can just change the layer directly right here if you want to. What I'm going to do is just move this blue box out of the way for a couple of minutes while we work on the rest of our slide. And one of the first things I want to do here is disable the visibility of these three draggable items that are actually part of my base layer. And the reason I want to do that is because otherwise when the learner sees this layer, they would be seeing these items in the spots that they dropped them, which is fine if they got the question right, but if they didn't, I don't really want to show the places that the learner put the items because I want to show them in their correct places. So down here at the bottom right, I'm going to click to open up my timeline. And if I scroll up a little bit here, what you'll probably see when you first get here is this line that says base layer objects with a little triangle next to it. And that's where we can access all of the items on our base layer and turn off the visibility. So what you can do is click on the little triangle and then you can see, you know, all the items that are part of your base layer. And my draggable items are these first three right here in my case. So what I'm going to do is click on the little icon to turn the visibility off. And when I do that, you'll see on my slide that it looks like they are going away. So there's all three of those. And now we've taken care of the visibility there. So instead of showing those original items, what I'm actually going to do is um, a little trick. I'm going to go to my base layer and I'm going to copy the original items, do a control C here. And then I'm going to switch back to my review layer and then do a control V to paste them. And that way I can take each of my items here. I'm going to just, uh, let's see if I can select them. If I get my cursor back, getting a little delay. There we go. I'm going to move the monkey into the right spot and then the elephant into the right spot. And you can, of course, fine tune these locations however you need to. I'm going to do a little bit of adjustment there. That looks pretty good. And then you can you know, play around with this blue box thing. If you want to keep that or make it look some other way, you can do that. We'll just leave it right here for now. This looks okay. So now when the learner does their review, they're going to see those items. They're actually copies of the draggable items, but they the learner won't know that. And it's going to look like the answers are in their right spot. So let's go ahead and preview this entire project and we'll see how this behaves. Um, what should happen is we'll answer the question and then when we get to the review, we'll see the um, you know, the answers in the right spots. So we'll get the question wrong, okay? We'll go ahead and do monkey, ele elephant, giraffe, submit our answer. It's incorrect. And now when we hit review quiz, now we'll see those items in their correct places. So there you go. That's how you can show the correct drag and drop placement of a free form question during your quiz review.